Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neeraj Kumar Singh and we are talking about load runner tutorials. As a part of today's tutorial, we will be actually creating a real scenario and executing that. And as a part of it, we will be getting started with basic schedule scenario, which basically allows you to run the basic runtime settings as are the options. But of course, you can configure that how exactly the user will initiate, start, and complete but of course it will be independent of the duration as the basic schedule allows you to run a test based on the number of iterations defined in VUGen. so here we will be understanding practically that how exactly you can create configure and design a basic schedule scenario and how to run that and see a quick overview of some of the analysis options don't you wonder because we will be talking about analysis in more detail in upcoming tutorials Right now, we are concentrating on controller. So let's get started quickly and understand what is a basic schedule scenario and how to execute it. As a part of this tutorial, we are getting started with designing a scenario and executing them. In order to get started, the very first option is to start with the basic schedule scenario test. Here we will be understanding what is basic schedule scenario test, creating a basic schedule test and running this basic schedule scenario. This would be your first very first step to get started. To begin, the very first thing is of course to launch your controller and select the manual scenario and choose the option use the percentage mode to distribute the load among the V users and pick up the load scenario scripts that is load scenario scripts to be imported and select the script which you would have saved successfully using the VU gen. So you must prepare a successful playback script with number of iterations whatever you wish to and you can just add it to the scenario before you press OK. You can basically use any of these scripts it's up to you so as far as the script has a successful replay. Do not use any script which has any kind of error because that's of no point making use of that as a part of the performance scenario. Press OK. As soon as you press OK, of course the first window which will be displayed to you is the design window where you can configure the test and create it. The number one thing as you now have all the understanding of the navigation windows, we will be starting with configuring the load generators and we have the load generators at localhost and we just select that. The next thing is to come to this particular section where you can define schedule by scenario and run mode is real world schedule or basic schedule. The real world schedule will give you all the options to customize each and every action of VUGEN whereas basic schedule will just run the iterations which are defined in the VUGEN. Now if you see here as I switch to basic schedule it prompts me with only initializing start VUSER and duration which is run until completion but I don't have a condition to stop the VUSER because as soon as the iterations get over, you will automatically stop. Plus, this is the place where you can define the number of users. For example, I want to go with 10 users and it says press return to apply changes. That's it. So now your configuration has been done for the basic schedule. Don't forget, basic schedule is a very simple test where these 10 users will run this particular script on this particular server to run this for number of iterations which you have provided in the VUGEN settings. At any point of time, you can click on this button to open the VUGEN script to see that what are the runtime settings for the same. Now, all you need to do is come to the Run tab and you can see that there are no users right now. You can just see that all of them are in the down state or it's empty. So you are good to go. All your statistics must be on the zero and click on Start the Scenario. When you click on Start the Scenario, you would see that the 10 users were on down has now moved to initialize and you can see the progress happening here and also you will see them moving to the run state once initialization happens and they will move similarly to all other states you can also click on view user button to see individual view users behavior and observe that what exactly is happening during the execution as they will complete each and every iteration you can see the progress and once everything is done it will stop executing it's just a push button anytime you need you can just click on this and you can see that almost everyone has done succeeding or executing all their three iterations and all of them have passed also at the time you see an error here which can be ignored for the time now uh, because we will be learning about them in more detail as you observe here and there 
So you can see there is a message here saying that missing new line in you, uh, this particular file that is fly underscore from that, which is just probably for a new line, empty line to be created. That is not a concern for us right now. Second thing, of course, you would see a lot of graphs being populated automatically. And there are a lot of other graphs which are in blue here, which are prepared by default during the execution. You can see all of these graphs and there are many others which can be populated. The one in the black are required to be configured before they can be populated. The one in the blue are pre-configured, so they are automatically prepared. Once you are done executing everything, all you need to do is click on the results and use the option analyze results, which will open another window called as Roadrunner Analysis. Now team, I'm just giving you a quick overview of analysis right now because we'll have further tutorials to talk in detail about the analysis. So the analysis window will automatically capture all the information from the controller and present it in a graphical format. And here you would see all the graphs being populated with all the necessary statistics which are related to it. So we will explore these options, these statistics, what are they and so on. So don't worry about them right now. There are some graphs which are populated automatically, so running vusers. Though I told them to log in simultaneously, you can observe a deviation here and same in the outcome, that is logout. Hits per second is basically the representation of communication between the server and the client. Throughput is the number of transactions placed. Transaction summary, of course, you will get a total count of action executed three times by each user. So total of 30 transactions happen. Vuser n was executed one time by each user, Vuser init one time by each user. So now basically what happens is the green color represents the pass and the red one will represent the fail. So that means all your Vusers were successfully executed as well as each transaction was successfully executed. So nothing to worry at this point of time. Also, you can see the average response time, which is completely different, which we are not expecting. But as far as the meet the desired outcome, that is, for example, if the requirement was to have response time less than or equal to two seconds, then of course it is meeting our expectation. And we can see that during the initial period, I think the load was more and the response time went up high. But after that, it was normal. We'll be actually complicating more difficult scenarios in real world schedule to see a better deviations and graphs. So right now, it is more than enough for you to understand how to analyze results. But of course, in upcoming tutorials, we'll be talking about more details, understanding each and every option in analysis as well. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm over there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.